Uh, my name is Sean Noonan. I'm a consultant cardiologist uh, and I also am an external advisor to the CAA in cardiology. So I think for, for uh, individuals who drive, who have not got HGV licenses, it, the, uh, the syncope standards are not quite as rigid as they are for HGV drivers. But what is good is that the DVLA guidance is very clearly laid out in their booklet, so fitness to drive. So I would direct them really to those, uh, to those guidance, which is very nicely laid out in that it's got a, a traffic light system where uh, if you can continue to drive, you get a green light. If, you, if there are reservations about you driving, it's amber, and if you mustn't drive, then it's red. So the, the DVLA have been very good at making things clear, I think at least, and obvious to patients, and most patients can just download the guidance online. So I think that they're two quite different things. So if you're flying as a passenger, there are the usual things that you would avoid, ask people to avoid. So they should maintain very good hydration throughout, as you would with any patient with syncope, but in particular not to drink alcohol, to move around the cabin on a, on a, a frequently, and if they really have had trouble on a, on a flight before, to wear compression stockings as well. So they're, they're really fairly obvious things. I, would, I also would say that perhaps if they've had syncope on a flight before, to drink plenty of water before they even start, and to sit in an aisle seat so that they can be laid on the floor if, if something goes wrong and ideally if they're traveling with somebody else to warn the person they're traveling with. 